Hi, Collective. I'm back with your life purpose reading. I hope it resonates with you all. Take what you need and leave the rest, please. Messages for the Collective, please, for their life purpose reading. What are they meant to do, Spirit? This is a timeless message. What is the Collective meant to do, please, Spirit? We have spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, seminars, and sessions. So you're meant to be a spiritual healer. And we have energy healers. Who energy healing? Okay. Maybe doing some distance healing, some Reiki healing, healing. Maybe a teacher. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. Okay, messages for the collective, please. Energy healing and spiritual teacher. We have children. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. Maybe you're a doctor, nurse practitioner, pediatric care. Pe no, pe I'm not hearing pediatrician. I'm hearing pediatric care. Maybe a child has fever, has a fever, and you have to give them pedia, pedialyte or something like that. Something in pediatrics, maybe something too, maybe about a child's foot. Maybe something is going on with their foot, like is a curved foot. I forgot. I forgot what you call it. Maybe you're working around children who have spina bifida or different kind of ailments like that. Okay. But it's something about a foot. I don't know if maybe somebody got there. They were born with a crooked. The foot was turned in and it was broken for surgery purposes and straightened when they were younger. That's what I'm hearing in my head. I know there's a phrase for it, but I can't think of what it is. Okay. It's too many. Messages, please, for the collective, please, Spirit. We got infinite abundance. You, you're fully supported as you devote yourself to, to your divine life purpose. And your divine life purpose is being a spiritual healer, teacher, in, um, distance healing. Okay? And maybe you've been doing this since you were a child. You're able to also heal animals or you communicate quite well with animals like you may be around a horse or a dog or cat or whatever, and they just come to you naturally like, like you've always known each other, okay? We have practice. Polish your skills by practicing on a regular basis. Maybe you are a tarot reader or would like to be a tarot reader. The universe wants you to start practicing more. And I have healer at the bottom of the deck for you, healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share with others, maybe being a doctor, nurse practitioner, things I said earlier, something with children, though, definitely I'm hearing my ear. Okay. Sorry. Get us a little chorus here. Give me more messages for the collective, please, Spirit, with their healing practices. Well, I got shaman. Even though I'm shuffling, we have shaman. Maybe you're being, maybe you can... Summon people, well, I won't say summon people from the death, death, but maybe it's able to hear the messages they have for you to pass on to others because you're a gifted shaman, okay? Maybe somebody's birthday around is or on October 31st, okay? We have ritual, yeah, invoking spirits. Some of you may be arts also in the dark arts as far as your spirituality are concerned. Maybe dark witches or whatever. Maybe doing some, uh, although you're doing energy work, some of you are on the darker spectrum too. Maybe doing voodoo, invoking spirits, Ouija boards, and all that other kind of stuff. So we got two different energies, healing energy, then we have the darker energy, the, the, the spectrum, okay? All right. That's just for the collective. Please, spirit, what's going on here? And a lot of people maybe practice this. Black magic, maybe some of you, not all. We have uh, litha intensification. Maybe your your uh, your spiritual gifts are about to be intensified here for you. Going to get a little bit more stronger. Whatever whatever you're doing, no matter how you're doing it, your gifts are going to start becoming more stronger. Okay, especially if you are doing it if you're practicing on a regular basis. It's going to bring you money, abundance. Not even, not only money abundance, but spiritual abundance, okay? Messages, please, for the collective on their spiritual gifts. But definitely, somebody here definitely practice something negative when it comes to black magic, maybe even spell work, okay? Not all are, not, not all are negative. Somebody is definitely de negative, like 
in a bad way, but that's not for everybody. Maybe by one, maybe two people doing some really nasty things. Okay, it may be very, very fertile, fertile. Maybe you, you, this is in your family. Maybe on whatever side uh, you probably have always been. You, you were born into being whatever your spiritual healer because you're somebody in your family. Immediate family is also has the same gifts, but then maybe they don't recognize it, or maybe they don't practice it, especially if it's in the dark, the dark realms. Okay. Some messages, please, for the collective on their spiritual gifts, please, spirit. We got the tarot cards. Yeah, some of you are tarot readers. I think I said that earlier here. Practicing your skills, polishing them up on a regular basis so you can learn more about what you are doing. Okay. And then we got one, intention. What are your intentions with this gift? What do you plan on doing with it? Whether you're a tarot reader, some kind of energy healer, or you'd like what they would classify as a witch. Okay. Are you self-clarifying yourself as a witch? Okay. I have warlock energy here going on. This is a passion, very, very fiery passion. And maybe you and your lover both practice the same thing. And this is what you all do together. Maybe even animal sacrificing. It's not for everybody, though. Something you do something every Halloween. Maybe you go uh, in a haunted house or something that you, a place that you know is haunted and you try to invoke spirits, okay? Maybe once a year. And we have Herbal Kitchen, you're an alchemist, maybe mixing potions, doing things in your kitchen. Maybe you sell potions to people like oils that they can ingest or put in bath water or something, or candles. Maybe you're practicing candle magic, light, you know, get candles, herb candles, and sage-laced candles and different things like that. Maybe you have your own, your own weed shop or something like that selling uh, stuff to help people feel better. You know, the hemp oil and, and weed oil and CBD oil and all of that kind of stuff. All right. Give me a message for the collective, please, here. Okay. And we have we have the pentacle, respect. People respect you. It, almost as if not for all of you, if people don't respect you, you have a way of making them respect you. Making them respect you. Practicing magic, black magic, huh. embolic awakening, and you awaken to this gift when you were very, very young, but you awaken more to it the more you got pissed off or angry or almost as if you came into this gift by, by just happenstance. It's like, well, when I can say something or I can, you have always been, it been drawn to the dark magic, you know, but that's not a negative thing. If that's what you do. If that's what you're interested in, that that's your life, you know, go for it. Go for the good stuff. But just don't do it to hurt people, you know, if that's what you do. Okay. We have two spectrums. We have spiritual gifts, spiritual teachers, but we also have spiritual beings who do things uh, to conjure. That's something different than just being a spiritual healer. So we have two different things going on here. Okay. Okay, give me more energy, please, for the collective. Energy healing for the collective, please, Spirit. What is this about? Is that energy healing for the collective? Okay, we got the Seven of Cups, and we have the Magician. Like I said, there's some kind of dark magic going on here, okay? A lot of different ingredients or whatever it is that you do to make to practice your magic. And this could also be you doing all of these different uh, samples. Maybe you, you you got samples that you want to pass out to people. Maybe you to, to make more money, Ten of Pentacles. It's like I got potions, different things that you mix together to make candles, to make hemp oil or, or um, incense or whatever it is it is to make things smell good, you know, to sell for your business or something on the side. And very, very, you're a magician. You're making these things happen, mixing potions, money, uh, spell work, whatever it is that you do. Everybody does whatever they want to do. This is your life. 
And we got the Nine of Pentacles. And this is something you've grown into, the Empress here. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So you're going to be very, very successful, very, very lucrative at what you're doing. And some of you may have a partner. If you're practicing black magic or whatever, you have a partner who, who does the same thing that you do. Maybe you're married to this person and you all have your own business on the side. You have your regular nine to five, but you also have a business on the side practicing your magic. Okay. We got the King of Pentacles and we got the Three of Swords. And you're capable of actually um it's ca ca causing spell work it's, you know um like if, if a couple broke up or whatever whatever maybe you can make a couple break up or do something that's going to shatter them or, or constantly bring them back together or whatever the situation is practicing spell work doing a lot of different things we have here the emperor here and we have the moon core you want to know if that person is cheating you'll find out do have a reading done or if that person is cheating, we got to do spell work to either get that person back or to pay them back for hurting me or whatever the situation is. So we got two kind of energies going on here. Okay. All right, y'all. I think this is it. I hope this message resonates with you and finds the right people it's meant to find. And I'll talk to you soon. I see one, one, one. All right.